What's going on guys? Oh my Godzilla, back here with another Godzilla figure review. Guys, today taking a look at one of the newest figures from the Bandai Movie Monster Series collection. That being the Godzilla 2004, Godzilla Final Wars. Guys, let's jump right in. Alrighty guys, we are back. First of all, let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this figure and what are your thoughts on Final Wars as a film in general. I definitely enjoy Final Wars. It's a really fun movie. One of the first Japanese Godzilla movies I ever saw, so it definitely has a special place in my heart. Not to mention this suit being one of my favorites, honestly. So guys, first things first, let's take a look at the tag. Fairly good image there. Little bit blurry, little bit um, kind of not too crispity as it could be, but not a bad image at all, guys. Interior of the tag, going to be pretty standard. Flipping it to the back, you do have the really cool Final Wars logo, Bandai Movie Monsters series. You got some cool spines that look good in the back there. Let's sleeve this bad boy. Alrighty, guys, got the card all protected. Moving into the figure, guys. Let's go ahead and start. We'll start at the top, taking a look at the eyes. I really do enjoy these orange eyes. They look really good to the Final Wars suit. I think the orangeness looks really great. The orange and black come through really crisp, and I really love the black outline around the orange makes the eyes really pop out and look great we do have great looking eyes on both sides of the figure they look great he has a great side profile from the front you do get a little slightly derpy but honestly a lot of godzilla figures look pretty interestingly derpy from the front and this guy is definitely not too bad honestly Top of the head spikes look pretty nice. Good detail in there. I wish we had a little bit of white coming up here, but it's not too bad. Obviously, we don't really have much of that in the suit anyways, so not going to complain about that much at all. Moving into the face, guys. The teeth look fairly good. Obviously, not individually sculpted, but the paint is very accurate on them. Looks good. The big fangs up front looking good. Front teeth look okay. This, this one here on the right side next to the big tooth is a little not painted totally perfectly. Moving to the other side. We do look good on that side as well. I do have kind of a little, I don't know if that happened during shipping or where that kind of smudge came from. That's definitely unfortunate, kind of annoying, but we will live with it. Squeeze this guy out of the way, guys. Move it into the chest area. We do have a great looking um, torso area. Not bad. I wish we had a little bit more kind of texturized detail through here. Maybe a splash of mixed colors or something. I know the suit really doesn't have it, but it would be nice to kind of mix up the chest a little bit. Um... The arms, the underside of the arms kind of lose their texture here. It's a little annoying. Obviously, the bottoms of the hands have no texture at all. And the bottoms of the claws are not painted. So definitely a little lazy detailing in this whole bottom of the hand up to the whole forearm. But the top looks fine. Top of the forearm looks good. Again, a little smudge. This guy got dinged up and shipping a little bit. Um, top of the hand, again, kind of loses its scaling detail. I wish we had a little bit of detail coming through the top of the hand but it's not totally egregious the claws do look very good you do have some detail the color looks pretty decent throughout the claws on both sides check out the other one real quick again same complaints on the top of the uh, the arm no, lack of detail on the top of the hand but the claws look phenomenal look at the detailing the paint looks great as well so the tops of these claws look great insides not as much moving kind of down through the groin area not too bad just kind of typical stuff the legs look fine um nice and toned up lean godzilla suit um, good throughout here bottoms of the toe claws kind of same deal nice detail it has some has some of that lining detail bottoms of the feet nothing no detail no paint bottom of the tail sees some detail which is good obviously you got your logos here and taking a look, guys, at one of the more underwhelming portions of the figure. I love Godzilla 2004 suit so much. And these spines definitely kind of miss the mark for me. Uh, the painting is fairly lazy, unfortunately. And the detail just doesn't come through as much as it could. Um, some of these bottom ones look okay. But, I mean, if, you, if, you mess, if, you're, if you're missing the mark on these kind of more important, the biggest couple of spines, kind of these two at this point... Uh, it's definitely a little disappointing. Obviously, we do not see a painted tail all the way down. We kind of lose it about three quarters of the way down this second chunk here. Um, and then this, the detailing on this bottom part of the tail actually looks great. I just wish they had shot a line of white paint down the top of that. I feel like that would have been pretty easy. I don't know why Bandai um, is so intent on skipping that portion of detail. 
but they have left it out once again. <clears throat> but I've come to basically accept it at this point, unfortunately. Tip of the tail looks fine. Looking good throughout there. This is a very good figure. As, and like I said, I am a huge fan of the suit. Godzilla 2004. I did forget to mention, guys, we do have some good detailing on that tongue in there. It is finally kind of the purple like we see in the actual suit. We do have some kind of texturized detail kind of toward the back. Not sure if that was intentional. <laughs> like they wanted to try and give him some taste buds or give him some detailing back there. If that was just something weird going on with the machines or whatnot. But it looks good. So guys, this figure definitely um, is pretty solid on detail. Again, underwhelming on kind of the interiors of some of these arms. Interiors of legs look great, which it would really have to because they're so prominent due to his wide stance. Um, so really the biggest complaints would be the spine detail being a little lazy and then the interiors of the arms kind of missing the mark as well and not lack of paint on the claws and whatnot guys let's get into some uh, some size comparison okay guys unfortunately i do not have the uh they do have an older version of the bandai japan godzilla final wars i do not have that i really wish i did i'm trying to track it down but at the moment i do not have it so this is the bandai creation guys so um obviously a different sculpt definitely because it's bandai creation too um Definitely, uh, Bandit Creation is actually going to be slightly taller. Uh, and Bandit Creation went overboard, I think, on the white paint back here. But they, they look at that. They at least went to the tip of the tail. A rare thing nowadays. But this really always bugged me on the Bandit Creation. Lack of paint and sculpt and detail on the tops of those hands. But they did get the interior of the claws painted. So, kind of a trade-off. Uh, obviously, a darker paint kind of used on the Creation here. Uh, different sculpt completely. I just wanted to kind of show them side by side, guys. Take a look at that. I definitely like the face sculpt a lot better on this new Bandai Japan. It looks a lot more accurate, and it just it is just kind of more aesthetically pleasing to me. As moving on, we have a Bandai Gigan. This scaling is actually pretty darn decent. Um, I'm not going to complain about that really at all. Gigan is a bit taller. I like it. I like it when our villains are bigger than our heroes. Scaling here looks great to me, honestly. Gigan scaled very well with this new Godzilla. Guys, this is the 2018 Bandai Movie Monster Series Rodan Final Wars figure. Scaling's fine with me. Doesn't bother me at all. Um, I generally think of Rodan as a little smaller than this, but I am honestly forgetting how Rodan legitimately scales with Godzilla in Final Wars. So this scaling's fine with me. Uh, I'm not going to be bothered by it one bit. Guys, real quick, wanted to scale the Godzilla here with the new 2023 Hedora from Final Wars. Tag got some dents there, but review coming on this guy very, very soon. Stay around for that. There's your scaling. I know Godzilla fights uh, Hedora in Final Wars for all of six and a half seconds um but they did do a great short with this uh suit of hedora so check that out if you haven't seen it definitely worth watching i think the scaling is pretty suffice i like it not bad hedora looks great godzilla looks great definitely a good scaling Alrighty, guys so there you have it this has been the bandai movie monster series godzilla 2004 from final wars 2023 release definitely recommend it i picked this guy up from hobby link japan i will link him in the description below it's a great figure. Really recommend it to anyone interested in uh, expanding their Godzilla Final Wars collection, expanding Godzilla suits. There have not been many releases for Godzilla Final Wars, just the one previous one, and it is tough to come by right now. So grab this guy while he's fairly easy to get. Take advantage of adding a great Final Wars figure to your collection. I definitely recommend it, guys. Again, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on Godzilla Final Wars and this new figure. Do you have it? Do you want it? Are you passing? If so, why? Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in the next one.